So uh, uh, let us continue with uh, this topic again today. Uh, uh, well, remember what we have done previously uh, for today's lesson was about the gender nouns and uh, of course articles as determinants. So please, uh, you are going to connect with what uh, we are going to do now, and that is nationality and professions or professions and nationality okay so first and foremost uh, allow me uh, to share with you my screen of which i believe you can see i believe you can see the the what i'm sharing good so uh very first, uh, gentlemen. So, when talk about nationalities, one thing that I want to remember, one thing I want to remember first is that we have the auxiliary verb to be, which we conjugated. So we always say the verb et. Uh, okay. And next one. The verb et. The verb et underline all case the verb et plus plus what? profession at all time so here how do we conjugate the verb to be remember this part so the first time just remind you so professions are accompanied by the verb to the verb to be so remember we say we say je suis okay tie il truc elle est nous sommes vous êtes il that's the conjugation of the verb to the verb to be don't you remember so uh, we have yes so that is the verb to be so when talk about the profession depending on what you want to say it is the verb to be plus the profession of course uh, respecting the gender as i've said remember we have talked about gender there's something now behind us so when i talk about now the profession respecting the subject which can be a noun or a pronoun as now here what i've shown you is the pronoun the subject pronoun the the profession itself must must respect the gender so basically you need to get that so for example you want to say I am a student. Remember the word student we had seen when you're talking about the gender. So you simply say, je suis je suis étudiant. Je suis étudiant. So you see that it means it is what? A student. I am a student, a profession. And the student, I'm the person speaking. That means if i was a lady or which i am not then i will say what je suis étudiant so if the lady is the one speaking the lady has to say je suis étudiant if you are referring to a lady we say elle est étudiant étudiant you are referring to a lady but if you are referring to a man il est 
étudiants. You see how it is changing. But if, for example, or you can also say, uh, Phineas, Phineas est étudiant. Phineas est étudiant. Phineas est étudiant à Zitec. À Zitec. You see that the 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 the, 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 the profession étudiant must agree with the word must agree with the with the gender allow me to do something here i believe it will work let me see if it will work you see what i've done okay so it means it means they have to they have to agree next if it is plural form if it is plural form of course we have also been told so we can say we can say uh, edison edison pardon edison a naomi Edison et Naomi sont. Remember the verb. Now we are conjugating the third person what? Third person plural. Ils sont. Elles sont. Edison et Naomi sont étudiants. I must add letter S. I must add letter S because I'm referring to plural here. Edison and Naomi are students. Again, there, just to illustrate. Oh. So you see here, You can see they have to, they have to agree. Plural, the adjective also has to be in the, in the plural form, a profession in the, because adjective professions are, are adjective. I believe, I believe that is, that is well understood. So uh, very fast, I'm going to share with you the, here there are, so work and school, Le travail est l'école, work and school. So please note that the way I've given you, these are the nouns, but how would you make them professional? You make them professional by dropping what? Dropping the article, okay? Dropping the article here. For example, when you say, so I've given you the masculine and the feminine, and then the translation here, I've given you also in, in English, so it is very easy for you to understand. I've translated them, so it's upon you to master what what do you say now in French, as far as professions are concerned. Now, l'acteur is actor as a noun. Now, the profession is simple. We say what actor. So, je suis acteur. Naomi a actrice. I believe you are getting getting me. Eh? So we say l'acteur. That is an actor. So for me, I'm just going to read them. So anytime I move, you are, I'm going to read the, the, mas the masculine, the feminine. So it's upon you to look at this side to know what I'm referring to in, in English kindly. So we say l'actor, l'actrice. So the profession is what? Actor without the article, actor, okay? Actor, pardon, actor, actrice. That's the profession. I hope you are, you are getting. So le chanteur, la chanteuse is the noun. Now the profession is what? Chanteur, chanteuse. L'architect, the profession is architect, architect, the same. Remember we were told if the masculine ends with letter E, it remains the same in the, in the feminine form. 
Le comptable, that is accountant. So accountant, if you say comptable, comptable, the same. Juge, juge. So let me ignore the article just to share with you the profession. And please, I'm, I'm inviting you, once we are done, try to note down all this profession. I've said it is simple. The profession simply drop the article because here you have them as a noun. Now from the noun, you derive what? The, the, the profession. Like you say, the teacher. So teacher is a profession, if I may say so. You say a receptionist, that is a, that is a noun. But now receptionist is a, is a profession. The doctor, now doctor, a doctor is a profession. It's the same thing here. So the doctor, doctor. The nurse, nurse. The farmer, farmer. The driver, driver. So that is how we form the, we, we derive, we derive the profession from the, from the noun. So, so actor, actress. Chanteur, chanteuse, architect, architect, the same, comptable, comptable, juge, juge, homme d'affaires, home, home is man, remember, homme d'affaires, now the woman we say femme d'affaires, that's a business person, so businessman, business woman, le boulanger, la boulanger, so boulanger, boulanger, coiffeur, coiffeuse, Programmer, programmers, that is a computer programmer. We say secretaire, secretaire, the same. Electrician, electrician. Now, remember, I told you we are going to meet how whatever was telling you about the formation of feminine from masculine. I told you when you have got a masculine noun, or in this case now, this is a noun, of course, ending with n the then doubles you double the n then you add e at the end so it's double n e that's the ending of the of the feminine so you can see that clearly manifested here so simple we say electrician electrician that's electrician mechanician mechanician the same thing we say cuisinier cuisinier that is a cook Vendor, vendors. Again, remember when you are talking about the formation of masculine, feminine for masculine, you get, I told you, EUR become EUSE. I told you the RE changes to SE. So that's why it is very important for you to, to connect. And I believe that is something of the past. So we say vendor, vendors as a profession from the noun, le vendor, la vendors. So the profession is what? Vendor. Vendors. Pompier, Pompier. So this one does not change, it remains the same. Okay? We have, remember we were told about, I hope remember we were told about the formation of feminine, where we were told that what's ending in I, E, R, R, are feminine. And we also have some of them are masculine. But now here, the only thing which is changing is what the article. Remember, we were told there are some there are some uh, particular cases or scenarios where the masculine and feminine they are identical, they mean the same. So what is going to change is just the the determinant. But now here, remember, the profession is not accompanied by what by the article. You drop the article, so we say pompier, pompier, plombier, plombier, the same. Bibliothecaire, bibliothecaire. Bibliothèque, that is a librarian, okay, from the word bibliothèque. Agent de police, agent de police, the same. We say journalist already ends with letter E, remains the same, journalist. We say ouvrier, ouvrière, that is blue collar worker. Ouvrier, ouvrière, okay. We have a banker, we say banquier, banquier. Okay, avocat, avocat, you add E at the end. The factor, so we say factor, factrice. Remember, I told you letter T before the, the U R E changes to trees. So the factor as a noun, we say factor, factrice. Charpentier, charpentier, that is a carpenter. Engineer, engineer, you add E. 
to the masculine. We have uh, le médecin, we were told about this, that it does not change. If you remember what we had just done earlier on about the gender of nouns. Infirmière, you add E, infirmière, that is a nurse. Pharmacien, the end doubles E, pharmacien. We say psychologue, psychologue remains the same. Speak, speak, uh, psychologue, okay. We have dentist remains the same. We have a veterinaire, okay. Veterinaire remains the same. We have chauffeur. This one changes to chauffeurs. Chauffeur de taxi. So chauffeur, chauffeur de taxi, the same. L'écrivain, écrivain, écrivain, écrivain. Instituteur, of course, T, Tris, institutrice. Professeur remains the same, professeur. Étudiant, étudiante, we are talked about that. We have a stagiaire, stagiaire, okay, that is an intern or a, when you are on attachment, you say, je suis stagiaire, I am, I am an intern or I am, I am uh, an attachment. Then we have finally, recrete, recrete, you add E, remember we are told a noun ending with letter E, acute accent, you simply add another E, but what you say is there, is the same, okay? Basically, those are the profession among so many that uh, you you will come across now let me say this remember we were we were we were told about this so we say notice that some professions are always masculine even if the person is a woman as you have seen there like the word professor so you see professor we can say for example madame fina again a professor so we so that's why in the noun we say le et la but the noun remains the same. So even in the case for the uh, in the case for the uh, profession, also they remain identical. So the person you are referring to is what is going to determine, of course. So we say elle professeur, il est professeur. So we are saying the same, the same thing. Any question there? Any question? Any question? Edison, any question? Edison, can you hear me? Any question as far as the profession is concerned? Remember, I've told you, the profession first and foremost, you have to know how to conjugate the verb, the verb to be. As I've indicated here, the verb to be, you conjugate in the present, for now, plus the, the profession. If you have a question, please ask. Hello? 
Yes, Mwalimu. Yeah. Yeah, have I you understood? Uh, have you understood what uh, I've said, or you've just joined now? Uh, no, no, no. I was getting, but I missed the connection. Eh? Ah, okay. Uh, when you started okay. the breaking, I wanted to tell you that your voice is breaking, and then I lost connection. Eh? So I was checking whether it's that bad or that I finished. I, I think it was. Answer. I think it. I think it was from your end. Eh? I think so. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But you've understood about profession? Yes, I have a do. Uh, I have, but though they are hard, the mm. changing of uh, the 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 ones uh, with the thing with the R E N. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, e yeah, yeah. yeah but the, good. But the most important thing is you yeah. see, uh, you see, it is uh, the most important thing is. Uh, uh about the how how do you call it about the how 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 you're supposed to form a profession in this case we have the yes. verb to be i don't know if uh, you can uh, let me just a minute let me share the screen i don't know whether it is on is in class you know i've been calling him to confirm if he can hear me it's not responding, but I can see him connected. So, uh, I believe you can see the screen what I'm showing you. No, not yet, not yet. It has not uh, shown it to my head. Yes, it's touching. It's loading. Huh? Yes, yes, now I can see the screen. Yeah, you see what I've highlighted. Can you see what I've highlighted? No, not. You can't see the profession. Yes, Phineas, I want you to confirm from your end if you can see the profession, what uh, I've written there. Edison, can you confirm if you can see the screen from your end, kindly? So basically, I was saying that uh, to form a profession, a profession is always accompanied by the, the adjective, the verb, et. So you conjugate this verb in the present, je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, il, elles sont. So I'd given you example on the same and I've illustrated how they have to agree, okay? If the subject is masculine, then yeah. the profession must also be be masculine okay if it is plural of course the the profession must yeah, also yeah, be in the yeah. in the plural form so i believe that is understood okay and uh, of course i've given you i've taken you through uh, this document which mm -hmm. is already on the portal on the portal so i told you to form profession from this this nouns you are given here you simply drop what you simply drop, yeah. drop the article for example Le banquier is a banker. 
is, 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 is a, a banker as a noun, okay? But now, if you want to say, I am a banker, you simply say, je suis, je suis banquier. You cannot say, je suis le banquier. You get it. Just like the word, this student can be a noun student, can be, can be, can be a profession. A lawyer can be a noun, a lawyer can be a profession, okay? So when you say, I'm speaking to a lawyer, or yeah. the lawyer, the lawyer is called. You see, now I've used it. But when I say he is a lawyer, you see, now I've used that as a, a profession. It's the same thing here, that you've been given the nouns, of course, uh, 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 with the article, but now to form the adjective, you simply drop what? The article to remain with what? The profession. But note that anytime you're talking about a profession, the only verb you can use in this case is the verb, the verb to be, as I've illustrated here. That's why I said by, we say X yeah, plus what? Yeah. Plus a profession. So please take note of that. And uh, I want to wind up this class by talking about talking about nationalities kindly I'm just going to guide you it is a well explained document so so countries and nationalities so countries in french we say le pays okay there is a le problem pays. on my head i think the network is not strong enough yeah i i think it is i think it is uh, it takes time to load eh? But you can see what I'm sharing, eh? Hello? So... Professor. Phineas, Phineas uh, I, is, it, is it you? Can you can you mute yourself? I don't know whether that is your end. Now, uh, I want to talk about nationalities briefly as we wind up. So I believe you can see the Let me share the document. I believe you can see the document. So uh, I'm done with the profession. I've said the profession is a company by the verb to be the same, the same thing. We say the verb être, the verb être plus nationality, nationality. Very important for you to know. So, nationality, pardon, nationality. So, Again, here you have to know how to conjugate the verb to be. So we say, Je suis tu es il stroke elle, il stroke elle, nous sommes. Vous êtes
vous êtes, ok? Il, donc, elles sont, of course, plus what? Plus nationality. So, here, we talk about nationality. Uh, allow me to insert a table. So my table should have three. I'm going just to use the three columns, okay? Three. Or let me make it one, two, three, four. Okay. So uh, here I have, let's say, a pay. Pay, okay? Pay, country, then we have what? Uh, remember this you're talking about what? Nationality. Nationality. Okay. So here we have got masculine singular. So masculine, masculine singular. Okay. Here, masculine, feminine, pardon. Femina, femina singular. Okay. Then here we have got masculine. masculin, pluriel, then here we have femina, femina, pluriel, okay? So uh, this table is just a guidance, very fast, just to give you a clue of what that document entails. So here, Assume you have, not even assume, you have a country like we say, Le Kenya. Remember, countries are accompanied what? Accompanied by with the article, Le Kenya. Le Kenya as a country. Now, nationality, we say, Kenya. Now, that is masculine. Feminine, you add letter E, we say, Kenyan. Plural form, you simply add S to either. So masculine plural become what? We say Kenyo with S, feminine, Kenyan with S. Addition of S does not bring any change when it comes to what? It comes to, it comes to the pronunciation, remain the same. Take a country like, just a minute. A country like, for example, we say La France, okay? La France. So the nationality will be, we say Francais. Okay, that is feminine, we add letter E, Francaise. As simple as that. Now, plural form, this one will not change because it already ends with letter, letter S. So simple, it remains the same. In the plural form, we say Francais, but the feminine has to change. You simply add letter. S. So we say Francais, as simple as that. I believe that is clear. Take another country. Sorry. me to change the orientation to
me will be it will be easier for me that way Yeah, I think that is fine. Let's take a country like, for example, uh, La Belgique. La Belgique. La Belgique. La Belgique, so we say Belge, feminine Belge. I will want you to form the plural form. You simply add S to either. Take a country like uh, La Tanzania. La Tanzania, Tanzania, okay. La Tanzania. So uh, you simply say Tanzania, Tanzania, feminine, you add what? Double N E, okay? Say Tanzania. Tanzanian. Okay. Plural form, you simply add what? S to either. We say uh, Luganda. Luganda. Uganda, we say. Ugande, Ugandes. Now this one remains identical, the plural form. So here we say Ugande, but the plural form, you add S, Ugandes. Yeah, we are just practicing what we had, we had seen or what we had learned when it comes to the formation of what? Formation of the plural form for both masculine and and feminine. Okay. So very fast, as I wind up, uh, gentlemen. Here, I have the countries, continents. You're going to find them there. So under the noun Lafrique, which is so F means feminine, M means masculine. Okay. So for example, Lafrique. So nationality we say african african so you add letter e to the masculine to form what to form feminine that is what it means so the stroke the e after whatever is added after means that's what you're supposed to add to form what feminine so lalbani so that's a feminine country so masculine you say albane feminine you say albanese you add letter e lalgeri a feminine country so nationality algerian algerian and doubles l'amérique america american you are letter e to form feminine so basically that is how this uh, document works so we are told their countries which are masculine their country which are which are which are which are uh, the ones which are not shown the country which is not shown of course you can see from the the article so le maroc from my far left le maroc 
see where I'm moving the, the, the cask. The Maroc is masculine. So basically, just based on what I've, 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 uh, I've explained, so these are, there are so many countries I've given you here. Their name in English, the name in French, and then the nationality derived. So you can see like the word Aust Australia, we say L'Australie, which is a feminine country. So the nationality is simple. Australia is masculine. Then we say Australian. And just to wind up that, when it comes to nationalities, remember I've said they are accompanied by what? By the adjective. So we have so many nationalities here which have come up with this document I've shared with you. Please take your time, go through it. No different countries in French, no their meaning in, in, in uh, no different countries in, in, in English. And of course, the most important thing, how do you call them in French? And please know how to form the nationality or derive, how do you derive the nationality from the country itself, okay? And please also note what I've said. When it comes to formation of nationality or expressing yourself, you use the verb to, use the verb to be. Use the verb to, to be. So there's a writing here, which I want to. Now the masculine forms of the nationality are also used for the, for the languages. Take note of that. The languages are form of what? The masculine nationality. For example, anglais is English. So l'anglais, that is English. We say l'anglais, français, polonais, allemand, German. That's the Dutch, the, the German language. So we say adjectives, nationalities, and languages are not capitalized in French, not that. So adjectives of nationalities are not capitalized in French. The definite article is not used before the language. Note that when it follows the verb per way. This verb you are going to see because the, the next topic is about the, the first group verbs. So like you can say, je parle anglais, I speak French, I speak English, sorry. Je parle français, I speak French. Je parle Swahili, I speak Swahili. So please note that the article never accompany what? The verb. And also please note this as addition. In French, we never accompany nationality with, the adject, with, 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 with an article. Like, you know, in English say, I am a Kenyan. I am a student. That R does not exist. We say, je suis étudiant or je suis étudiante. We say, je suis avocat or je suis avocate. We say, Edison a receptionist, not, you don't say, you don't say in French, Edison a a receptionist. No, that is not accepted. Okay? So please take note of that. Now, French also uses Hollande when referring to the Dutch people. Okay? And sometimes the Dutch language. But this is not exactly correct. Just as it is not correct to use Holland when referring to the Netherlands in English. Also, notice that you do not use the definite article with, you don't use the definite article with these countries, Israel and Malta. So Malta and Israel, we don't use the, the article. Now, negation. Please note, we use the simple negation nepa where nepa sandwiches the, the verb. So we are told to make sentences negative, simply put ne and pa around the verb. So meaning ne before the verb, pa after the verb. In spoken French, however, the ne is frequently omitted, but it cannot be omitted in written French. And when you are replying yes to a negative question, you use what? See, if I ask you, are you not a student? So you say, si, je suis, a, je suis étudiant. So si in this case means yes to a question which is asked in a negative form. That one you will understand uh, as, we, as we progress with this, with this language. So like here, je suis du Canada, I am from Canada. I am from Canada. So je ne suis pas du Mexique, I am not from Mexico. Je suis français, so you simply say, je ne suis pas français. Je ne suis pas, if, if, if you are to negate this, say, je ne suis pas française. In this case, you see, 
Je ne suis pas suisse. I am not, I am not suisse. Masculine and feminine. Il est australien. Is australian. Now, elle n'est pas danoise. So, danoise, that is uh, someone from, that is Danish. So, from Denmark, okay? Now, please, I want you to note this. Anytime you have a verb beginning with a whole or silent H, ne become an apostrophe as illustrated here, please. So please kindly take your time, go through this document. Our next lesson will talk about the verb to be with professions. And of course, also we'll talk about the first group verbs where the backbone of French is because for you to understand French, for you to speak French, for you to understand someone, at least you must master the verb. So next week, we'll talk about the verb aller, the verb to go, and of course, first group verbs. Without much ado, I think I will leave it there for today. Unless you have a question, you can ask me now. Any question? Any question, kindly ask as I wind up. Edison, any question? So please take your time, go through the document. It's very easy to understand. I made it very simple for you to understand. So please go through the uh, the the documents uh, we have tackled today, and uh, I think by that uh, you are good to go. So that marks the end of our today's lesson. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is upon you now to do the necessary for you to uh, to digest or to master what we have talked about today. Without much ado, I beg to stop there until next time. I wish you a wonderful afternoon and stay safe, kindly. Thank you.